we're going to be breaking down the thread the needle move. And so today we're going over just the first portion and I'm going to give you a little hint to help really get the form and muscle activation a little bit better. So the great thing about the thread the needle move is it really helps slim and trim and shape things from the waist down actually also activates the lats. So you're still getting a full body workout, so to speak, in one move. When we slow it down, it can be really hard though because you have that one leg up and it makes it really difficult to keep your balance. We don't usually want you to use a chair, but in this case, because we're slowing it down, it will help you get better muscle activation and understand what's going on. So let's get started. Now, in case you haven't looked at the move, this is the move that comes around like this. And so it's very much challenging the core as you're trying to lift and move that leg. So first about form, I'm gonna step back just a moment so you can see my feet. You're gonna have that foot turned out a little bit, kind of like in plies. We're gonna start with your right and you're gonna keep that knee bent. Now, when you have one leg lifting and moving around, it's gonna be hard to keep weight in the heels. We try to keep your weight off the, the ball joint as much as possible. It'll be on there, but you wanna shift back more midfoot. So it's ball joint to midfoot versus ball joint to toes, if that makes sense. So that's what I'll be doing with my feet here. And I'm going to lightly hand. It's not a death grip, okay? Lightly. And you actually can press into the chair to help you get that lat activation. See how my ribs go up? So you can do that very lightly, which is going to help you with balance. The lats really are helpful to help you keep your balance as you're doing these one-legged flamingo moves, as I like to call them. So let's turn out that right toe just a little bit. The left one is going to be turned out to the side. This knee is bent. Let's go ahead and kind of put our organs in place and get get the, uh, the core activated. So just shift forward a bit and chop, chop, inhale. Exhale, squish, inhale down deep. Exhale, up, 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 and back. Press to get those ribs up. Reshift the weight to that knee. And I'm actually gonna move up just a little bit so I can touch the chair here. Just lightly press in there. The other hand is going to just go out to the side in a mitten hand. We'll talk a little bit more about the hand positions in the next video. So we're going to lift this knee and we're gonna draw a U by coming over. And first, we're just gonna pulse here. So it's no pulse, and this hand's gonna actually go out with a palm up. Pulse it. Two, so here's what's going on from the side. Three, so I'm bringing that hip forward a little bit as I bring that back. Not like this, where I'm really losing my core. It's core and lats. Two, three, four. Now, because of, you may have stuff in the way like I do, um, or you may have things going on your hip, you can't get all the way over there. Go to your max, wherever that is. It might be here. But as long as you're feeling it, pull the tummy in, ribs up, thumb back. Go ahead and place that foot back down. Kind of shake out that knee, but keep it in position. Rebound, focus on weight on that foot. More midfoot, off big toe, hand out. Now we get to draw that U-swing. So over, and now the hand comes down, faces the body, and comes up here. So over and out, down, and a little pulse there. Let's just stop there. Let's slow that down even more and just do singles. Knee out, palm up. So influence your leg, over, back out, and touch. But think of the last three toes even when you're touching. Here we go again. Down, draw it up, down, and touch. Two more times, over and up, little torque there, out and touch. Keep that knee bent one more time. Your knee's probably ready to say, I'm done, over and touch. Let's kick that out, freebie kick out. Kick, kick, three, four, lift that help relieve some of that tension. Now we're going to switch the chip over to the other side. You could use a wall, but the tendency is to then be pressing against the wall, and it's not as easy to keep that activation in form, which is kind of where your hands are gonna be anyway, at this waist level. I'm going to have a little harder time to hang it again because of my furniture. I'll come over to the side here a little bit. So again, this foot will be out a little bit, just to the side, kind of, kind of pointing between one and two o'clock on the imaginary clock around your feet. Other foot out, let's softly bend. Let's put those organs in place again. Chop, chop, inhale. Exhale, squish, fingers deep, inhale. Exhale, belly button up and back, press to get those ribs up and shift weight more midfoot. Hand on the chair, lightly press. I am gonna move it just a little bit more. <laughs> there we go. Lightly press, foot out, palm out. Ready, inhale. Exhale, we're we'll kind of come over just for that little pulse first, little pulse one. Remember, bring that hip forward, but you're using core. You're kind of a little torque there. Three and four, out and touch. So we're gonna do four and touch between each one. We shift the knee, ribs up. Inhale, here we go. Press lightly over and out. 
and back out. Touch. Shift that front weight midfoot and knee out. Draw the U up, a little torque there. Out and touch. Two more. Three shift. Over and torque. Out and touch. Once more. Ribs up. Over and torque it there. Out and touch. Now, you might not think you did a whole lot other than on that standing leg, right? It's feeling really sore. But what you're doing is slowly imprinting what's going on in the core. So you can take a rest, kick out a little bit if you'd like, and I'm going to talk through it. As I bring this knee up, yes, I'm using my leg, but I'm also using my core to lift my leg. Now, if I don't use my core, I can get my knee way over there. That's not the point. The point is using core and then ribs up, and that's that little torque there. A little bit of a twist, too. Okay, it's not just how far can I twist? We're not dancing. <laughs> and it's keeping that knee bent at all times. So as I draw that view over, and as I come out, that little torque, and then we go, usually go right into the second one, but we're gonna touch to give the legs a break. So that's using your core, inner and outer thigh, obviously hitting the gluteal muscles as well. But while you're keeping those lats activated to help with your balance, that's gonna help slim and trim in this area as well. It truly is. An amazing move to really work that rib on down area. Key points really keep that knee bent and knee out. Very important. If you need to stop, even when we go into the next time where we don't use the chair, feel free to do that. And actually, I will walk you into that. But I want you to practice with the chair first so you can really think about what's going on in your body. And if you can't get all the way back here, that's fine. If this is your area, but you can feel that stretch. That's what it's all about. And eventually, that fascia will start getting more and more supple and flexible, and your muscles get more flexible, the joints will be stronger, and you'll be able to go even farther. But the main thing is that you feel that stretch and start feeling better. So I hope this has been helpful. Spend a little extra time today because I really want to set you up well, because this is an amazing move for that lower body. You can actually do it at a bar if you happen to have a ballet bar. Excellent. Just stand there and do it there. You don't even need the chair off to the side. Just put both hands and press into the bar so you get that lack activation as you bring the leg back and across. Hope it's been helpful. I'd love to hear. Um, comment below if you have any questions or ahas, and we'll see you in the next video.